I, I respect people that, that think, oh, one day I'm going to make it, I'm going to be a big star. But if you really, if that's all you're hoping for, you're going to be disappointed. It's, you know, but if, if, you're, if you're happy just making a living doing what you love, then you can be, you can live a happy life. My name's uh, Jason Green. I come from Cleveland, Ohio, and uh, I've lived in New York City for, I moved here in 2004. Yeah, just do what you love and work hard, you know. Don't rest on your laurels, you know, always try to grow, and also don't have delusions of grandeur, you know. I moved here for a woman. How uh, did that go? It's great, we're married now. When I did move here, I started busking freelancing. First couple of weeks I was here, somebody told me about the Muni program, which is a great program. It's funny because I, I, I na was naive and I thought, oh, it's the subway. It's, you know, what's it going to be? There's going to be a guy in, one, in, a, in a room, you know, smoking a pack of cigarettes. All right, you can play, you're in, kid, you know. It wasn't the case. I showed up for the inter I showed up for the audition. There were 200 people that year, and there were TV crews. They had a whole, but they make a whole big deal about it. They have it in, in Grand Central Station. They have about 12 judges. They have TV crews from Germany, Japan. It was just a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. You know, so I got there and I thought, oh shit, I should have prepared a little bit more. You know. Economy wasn't as quite as bad as it is now, but uh, I mean it's fairly consistent. It, it, it's not as uh, some people really cry the blues like oh it was so much better years ago. It was a little better. It's not you know it's not it's not that terrible now. For for maybe maybe last year last season was probably the worst. This year is getting better. There's always more competition, yeah, because Muni keeps getting bigger and more people keep seeing it. Keep seeing people down there with the banners and. More people like yourself are interested in, in, in uh, you know, exposing it more. So the more people see it, the more they want to do it. You know. I'm, not, I'm not trying to name drop or whatever brag, but I, I played a lot, most of the major blues and jazz festivals. So I went from going playing festivals to. 30,000 people to come in and playing on the streets. But to be honest, especially here in New York, uh, Buskin I do better at a lot of times than the regular gigs. A lot of the bigger things that I've done personally as a frontman under my own name have come through Buskin. I shot a scene for a Steven Soderbergh movie, shit like that. I've been a couple of magazines, compilation CDs, that's all through Buskin. My regular gigs don't bring me that. Most people in New York know what the deal is. Some people still look at you kind of funny sometimes. Cops will harass you. Pardon my French, but you can't be a pussy down here. You gotta be able to like, uh, uh, you know, you gotta have a tough skin and you gotta be able, you gotta be able to stick up for yourself. I've had some of these try to rob me once, like grab my bag and I grabbed their arm and they pulled them back. They dropped the money and ran, you know, but it's probably stupid if I should have just let them take the money. You know, there are musicians that take advantage and don't, you know, aren't always respectful of others and play their stuff really loud, and that makes everybody look bad. New York, it's really the most accepted that I've seen anywhere in the world, really, let alone the country, you know. Um, uh, the Naked Cowboy speaking of busking. See, now this guy's brilliant. Brilliant marketing. I mean, granted, maybe it's a little sticky, but it, I, 
Everybody knows it. My sister came to town from Cleveland. She's like, oh, I want to go see the Naked Cowboy. Like, how the hell do you know who the Naked Cowboy is? You know, I saw him on New Bay. <laughs> What's that? Would you have voted for him for mayor? For mayor? Fuck yeah, sure I would. It's really one of the best cities to really catch that. And, and as well, people are, are, they expect it here and they look for it and they seek it out and it's, uh, it's, it's more legit, you know. Busking has been around, it's literally the second oldest profession. You know what the first oldest profession is, right? My heroes are all like, you know, old dead blues guys and jazz guys. And then back in the day, that's really all they had was busking, street performing and house parties. That's how they made their living. I've been playing in bars since I was 17. I've been playing for a living since I was 21. I'm 37 now. So I've had day jobs, but not many of them. You know, people will sit and listen to you and somebody that you think they'll be in a, you know, an Armani suit or something like that. And he'll sit and he'll bop his head and he'll listen for, you know, a while and then he'll throw you a quarter, you know. And then you get somebody else that comes up that is obviously homeless. They throw you a five or ten after, you know, it, it, you, you really can't tell. And the generosity for, from people in New York, especially the people that seem like they don't have a lot of money, is enormous. Mm -hmm.